All right guys, hello and welcome to another Sights and Sounds video here in Costa Rica. Today we're doing the Monkey Trail. So this is a road that goes between Tamarindo and uh, Playas Potrero down this road. And we'll talk about that in a second, but back this way, this is where you'd go to uh, Playas del Coco. So this is actually a shortcut kind of road between the two uh, towns where you can um, go up and down the road here, up and down the, the mountains, and it's not paved for most of it. It's a dicey road. And you can see we're gonna do a little bit of a river crossing. We'll go down that way. So this is a, it's a pretty convenient way, but sometimes this water can get very, very deep. So we're gonna check how deep it is today. And this wind right here, so let's say you're in, you're in the area and you got a little sedan and you don't wanna go. Now I've not done this because I have a SUV and I just go through the water every time. But this is the Congo Trail. So if you head to the right here, there's the Congo Trail. And I'm pretty sure it's only open during the day or certain hours. But if you go through, it'll cost you, I think, I, I think about $10, maybe $8, 5,000 cologne. And apparently there's a store up there where you can spend the equivalent of that and they'll let you through. So you can just buy a bunch of water bottles. But if you go this way, you're gonna end up going uh, through the water potentially. Now in dry season, the, the water bed is extremely dried up because it doesn't rain here for like five months. But let's go down there, check it out and see if we can see some cars crossing and we're gonna cross ourselves. All right guys, so got to a quick video there of two cars crossing by. If we can see another car coming through, then that's cool. But usually that's what we do. So you can see here, the riverbed isn't too bad. Now it gets kind of deep here. It looks deep, but it's not terribly deep. You can actually see, I'll zoom in right up there. The water's only a couple inches deep, but right here it pools up, right? So there's no real risk of getting, you know, pulled down the river. Although if the water's higher, you can see how high it can be. It can be like a couple feet deep you are at risk of getting pulled down the river and I know people that have that that has happened to so if you're here and you're curious you know you can sit here and wait for a couple people to cross through see the route they take so those trucks kind of went this way so if everybody's taking the same route then um, you know that's indicative of where you can go now and actually the cool thing about the, this uh, monkey trail and this river specifically is that there's a Facebook group for this and I'll link it below. And basically they'll post videos every day of crossing the river and how deep it is, right? What depth of car, like what height of car you should uh, have when you're trying to cross the river. So if no other cars come, then we'll do the first one. And actually it goes up around the corner here. I'll show you that. Then there's another river crossing on the other side. So let's do that. All right guys, so here's the second crossing and this one sometimes coincidentally is deeper than the other one and sometimes it's wider. It depends on how the water's flowing and all this kind of stuff. But you can see it's not a deep river and it goes all the way back. And I mean, right now I could have actually driven this uh, path here. A lot of people in the, uh, when in dry season will just drive along this because it's actually a bit smoother than that road up there. So there it is. Okay, and then I guess there's another river going this way, this way. But yeah, this, this can sometimes be much deeper, right? Depending on how much rain there is. So this is nothing, I mean, you could make it through this in a small little car 
this one, but the other one would be a problem, right? So it's just a matter of getting on that Facebook group if you're coming this way and checking it out. But really nice here, right? You can, you'll can you see monkeys around here. You know, it's aptly named the monkey trail. So let's get back on the road. And then I'm gonna do a time-lapse video showing you guys um, the remainder of the monkey trail up and down the winding roads. And we'll talk about that as we drive. have it that's our video of the monkey trail so right now we're driving through Portrero this is where you'll end up when you drive through the monkey trail it's a nice little tourist town with a nice beach close proximity to Tamarindo remember to check out sightsandsounds.co for a full written description of everything we talked about in this video hope to see you soon here in sunny Costa Rica drive all the windy trails check out the monkeys and the beaches and everything Check out Portrero. This is Portrero, by the way, if you're coming here. Nice little town, cool spot, close to the Liberia Airport. That's it for now. Take care.